On this episode of State Boards, a Tennessee woman encounters the Louisiana State Police and something is not adding up. What will the troopers find? The state boys on the highway Do the speed and the state boys don't play the state boys on the interstate Make sure your license good and your tags up to date the state boys on the highway They stop and hit the they look out of the way the state boys on the interstate Put your seatbelt on the state boys don't play State boys Body cam footage from your Louisiana State Police, multiple sheriff offices, and city police. On June 28th, 2022, a trooper with the Louisiana State Police, Troop L, stopped a 2015 Ford F-150 traveling on I-59 in Pearl River, Louisiana for simple traffic violations. The trooper then made contact with the driver, 23-year-old Emily Huckabee, and asked her what brings her down to good old Louisiana. Hey, how you doing? He's friendly? You gonna let him smell me? Yeah. Hey, buddy. You have a license on you? Yeah, sure. All right, look, let's get off the interstate. Let's pull in this rock parking lot. Right here at the end of this ramp, you can take a right, okay? okay. All right, that's much better. Let's see, do you have your, uh, your insurance on you? I'm looking for Okay. Well, look, I'm Trooper Clark, Louisiana State Police. Right, look, uh, a couple of reasons I'm stopping him. One, when you came by me, you're speeding. When I mean, you jammed on the brakes when you saw me. And then also, whenever you came past me, you jumped into that right lane. When you did, you got right up on that vehicle's rear end. And then once you got up behind him, you went over to the white fog line. Like, you're probably looking back at me, huh? Yeah. I got you. What'd you hurry today? Nothing. Just going to see some friends. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, where are you going to? Um, there's a place in Louisiana. It's right outside New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So my family's there, so. Okay, like a, a city? Yeah. Okay, you don't know the name of it? It's called Mediterranean. What you got going on over there? What you got going on over there? Nothing, my family just invited me out there. Okay. Just going there for the week. Yeah. Vacationing. So how long are you staying? Only like a couple of days. Okay, they're vacationing in the Metairie? You know what you said? Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the town and show you the Metairie. Okay. Let's see. 2015, this thing's clean for 2015, looks good. Yeah, it's a little dirty though. What kind of vacation are y'all gonna do? Just hang out. Just hang out? Swamp. Yeah, at the swamps. I guess, where are they? They're not with you? You family? No, because I live in Tennessee. They live in Florida. They live in Tennessee. What part of Tennessee do you live in? Hollywood. Where is that? I've never heard of that. Uh, okay, I guess. And how long are you staying in Metairie? Probably like two or three days. Two or three days? Yeah, okay. not that far of a drive, so. Yeah. My parents are in Citrus County, Florida. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can come back here. We can leave the doggy in there. All right. Where is... How do you say it? Hollywood. How do you... Where is that? It's like, like an it's hour from... If Nashville's like here, it's like an hour southwest. Okay. Well, how many hours is that from here? Um, from here, it's probably about four or five. Okay, that's it? Oh, that's not too yeah. bad. What is that? Is that right outside of... The only place I've been to in Tennessee is the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. So it's, it's about four that, hours from there. Like north? West? East? If you go east. Okay. So. I guess. Alright. Man, you wouldn't rather go vacation there than over here? Cool, all you got coming. Ain't nothing here. Cool, else coming? My mom, my dad, my sister, her boyfriend of like nine years. Okay. And they're bringing my best friend Paige because I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah. And they all, they're coming from where? Florida. What part? Citrus County. Okay. About an hour from Tampa. Okay. You want a vacation down there? I hate Florida. I just no. moved out of there. Yeah? Yeah. Where y'all gonna stay at while y'all down here? I have no idea. They made all the plans. They just yeah. sent me an address. Oh, jeez. And you just gotta show up? Yeah. Where's all your stuff? I have a bag in the back. Oh, okay. Let's see. You're still living this address on your license? Yes, yeah, sir. Is this an ID or a license? It's a license. Oh, it says not for a real ID. I can't, like, fly with it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the real one. Okay. Alright, it's just you and your doggy. What's his name? Oakley. Oakley? How old is he? 
Yeah. Almost three. Looks like a puppy. I know. It's friendly? What yeah. What is he? Is he mixed with something? Um, he has a part boxer. Part boxer? And what, fit? Red nose. Where's he going to stay at while you're down there? With us. And, uh, they got like, I don't know, they did like a Airbnb. Yeah. So like, animals are allowed. Oh, I was about to say, a lot of places you can't keep uh, animals at. So what do you want to do, Arden? Y'all got anything planned? I've never been, so I don't really know no, what theirs is. You don't do. know what their plans are? What day y'all, uh, what day y'all leaving out? Probably about Friday. Okay. Yeah, I'm just sure. No, because the weekend is bit crazy. They don't want to be there. Like yeah. they don't want to be near New Orleans for the weekend. Why well, y'all leaving going on vacation down there? It's dangerous down there. Uh, I've never been there. You no, know? never been no. to Louisiana. No. no? Right. First time. Not all it's cracked up to be. I heard. Yeah, I got you. So why were you? Uh, why are you speeding? I didn't. I didn't mean to. Yeah. Honestly. Were you paying attention or? Yeah, I think. You know how fast you were going? Eighty. Seventy-eight. 78 yeah. and it's 70. Yes, ma'am. Yep. I do apologize for that. I'll put my cruise control on. Yeah. All right. And then what's up with swerving and all? So you haven't been drinking anything today, have you? No, sir. No. How long have you been driving today? About four hours. Okay. Coming from, I guess, home? Yeah. Tennessee? Um, But these tires, like on my front one. Yeah. I just noticed this, how it's flat. Uh-huh. And then I switched on the other side. I put my front tire in the back because it has, like, a rip in it. So, like, yeah. I was worried, like, if it blows, I'd rather it be in the back. So it does get a little, not trying to it's make an excuse. Or something? Yeah, it's very bad. Okay. Because why else would, the other tire on the yeah. other side don't do that. I got you. So there's something wrong with my shock or something. Yeah, okay. You don't know where exactly the Airbnb is? No, sir. I have the town. Uh, just to, you just know what, what Metairie yeah, says? Yeah, my mom, you know it's a she's somewhere. like, it's in this town and then we'll yeah. They just told you to drive it. down there and they'll send it to you or whatever? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, and it's your truck, I'm guessing? Yes, sir. All right, everything's good with your license and the truck. Everything should be valid with it. What kind of plate is that? I never saw a plate like that. I know, like, uh, is it a specialized tag? I've never seen a blue actually one. Actually, they're brand new. They is that what they're giving, going to now? They just started giving those out when I got yeah. mine. <laughs> and I haven't seen the. Uh, thought it was like a specialized one. No. Okay. My friend was jealous because she has the old one. She yeah, was like, she I want that one. one. What's the? It's got the little green emblem in the Yeah, it's like white with a little bit of green and orange. All right, well, just hang out right here for me. I'll meet you all this information. Okay. okay. After running Emily license and checking her criminal history in the NCIS database, the trooper then talked to Emily again and asked her is there anything illegal in her vehicle. Is your truck still running? I think your dog, does your dog need AC? I know. No, I rolled his down. Oh, you rolled his down too? Yeah. Um, so you're just going to Metairie, you're going on a little vacation with the family. Who booked it all? My mom. Your mom? Yeah. And they're from Florida, you said? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen them in a while because I moved to Tennessee. How long have you been living in Tennessee? Um, I moved there about December. Of oh, this past year? Yes, sir. 21? Why'd you move? I just don't like Florida. Everyone huh? thinks Florida is so great. Like, yeah. cool, go visit, but living there. Why Tennessee? My best friend's in Tennessee. Okay. How'd you meet her? High school. She moved away, I guess. Yeah, from Florida. 11th grade year, she moved back to Tennessee. Y'all live together or something? Or y'all yeah, and she got a three year old and her husband. You married or anything? Or? Mm -hmm. No? You don't want to get married? I'm expecting, but I'm not yeah. married. Okay, I got you. Well, look, on your trip from Tennessee down here to Louisiana to your destination, did anybody ask you to bring anything with you? Anything no. illegal? No. Like any type of narcotics? No. Why they would. Yeah, but so would you have knowledge if somebody put anything in your truck? Oh, yeah. Oh, You'd have so. knowledge of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's nothing illegal in it, is what I'm no. getting at? Okay. All right. Well, look, this is a Louisiana State Police Consent to Search form, okay? What I'd like you to do is you can read, write, and understand English? Yeah. Okay, so this is Louisiana State Police Consent to Search form. What I'd like you to do is read it over. Make sure all your information that I filled out, your information, your truck information is correct. Read it. Make sure you understand it. If you have any questions on this form, I can answer those questions by you signing this form. You're giving me permission to search your vehicle, okay? And what you, if you, I don't get permission? You do have, that's what I was getting at next. You do have the right to refuse the consent. That's completely up to you, okay? That's just the next step we'll take. So if you want to read it, if you don't want to read it, that's fine. Either way, it's up to you. I'm going to refuse. Okay, all right. Just give me one once I put this up. 
After refusing the search, the other troopers that arrived to the scene has a canine named Reza to assist in the traffic stop. Hey, right, look, this trooper here, this trooper Fandle, he has a Louisiana State Police uh, narcotics detection canine, okay? We're gonna run the, uh, he's gonna run the dog around your vehicle, okay? He's gonna come talk to you. Is there anything in your car that would harm the animal or anything? No, just my dog. dog. How you doing, ma'am? Hey. Name's Trooper Fan, Lord, Louisiana State Police. Listen, I have a narcotics detection canine. Mm -hmm. uh, just going to conduct a free air sniff around the vehicle. Have anything in the truck that might harm the dog by any no, chance? No, just my dog's in there. Your dog's in there? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Look, what I'm going to ask you to do is just stand back here by the car for me. The trooper then explained to Emily the outcome of the open air sniff. What you say your name was, ma'am? Emily. Miss Emily? All right, so listen, the dog indicated the presence of source of are coming from the vehicle, okay? So that gives us probable cause and say Louisiana to search it, okay? Before we go any uh, further, that's one advice from Miranda, okay? You're not under arrest by any stretch of the imagination. You're not free to leave, basically, until we conduct this search, okay? So listen, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. Um, you can't afford uh, to hire a lawyer. One will be appointed to represent you for any question if you wish. You decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I, buy, as I have explained to you? All right, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us? Let me ask you this. Are we fixing to find something you're not supposed to have in your car? Because the best thing you can do is be honest, because we're going to find it. Okay? It's going to look better on you if you come clean now. Everything that we're doing is audio and visually recorded. So if you wind up doing something that puts you in front of a judge or jury, this is your chance to, to help yourself. Emily, we've been doing this for a long time. So there's something you need to that truck. He said, yeah, just, I mean, just might as well tell us what it is. What about my dog? I have a dog. I have, I have a collar. I have a leash in there. You can put that on there and, and we'll take care of it. Will I get like them back? Yeah, yeah. 100%. So we'll get, go I feel like we'll you guys get the animal shelter out here. I feel like you guys say this and then you just fuck them off. Well, then. 
I'm going to go get a collar from the dog, okay? Yeah, so, we're going to get a little bit more in there. We're not going to sit here and take it. Okay. We have a job to do. Okay. 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 Not right now, after the fact that we're done here. But not right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. 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 hand in there and do it through the window. Okay. Look, put, put, stick your hand in there and do it. Hey, press the unlock button. or down or anything, so. Do you have any weapons or anything on you? Your car's unlocked, Sam. Oh, yeah. What? A little coat strap is going back. Well, we got to make sure that ain't the fuck. Troopers search the vehicle and find approximately 10.58 kilos of a controlled substance. And Emily is placed under arrest for possession with the intent to distribute 500 grams or more of a Schedule 2 controlled substance. All right, look, this time you're being placed under arrest, okay? For the meth. Is that all that's in there? Actually, let me read you your rights again one more time, okay? So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. You have the right to a lawyer to be present with you. I have any question. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you before your question. You sign time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand that? Okay. That's is that all that's in there? You sure? Nothing else? Well, I have a 
No, I'm talking about as far as drugs. Okay. Does that all belong to you? Who does it belong to? You don't know? How did you come into that? How did you receive all that? You don't know? You sure you don't know? Come on, that's a lot of meth, so... Okay. Is the AC blowing for you and you dog? Let me turn it on a little higher for you. Just hang out here with that Emily later pled guilty to conspiracy to distribute and possession with the intent to distribute a quantity of amphetamines. In an interview with the troop, Emily told the troopers that she was paid $8,000 for the delivery of the controlled substance. On October 12, 2023, Emily Huckabee was sentenced 30 months in federal prison. Did you just, did you just call me a method to them guys? No. I swear to God. They were asking if you tested it. Yeah, I did. But we don't test and stuff. Why? Fentanyl. So? Fentanyl will kill us. Yeah. So we don't want to get exposed to any of that? Like, so, like, say, like, say you say it's meth, and we test it and it comes back as fentanyl. Mm -hmm. Like, bust it through the package, and little particles went in the air and got on us or whatever, mm -hmm. and kill you. So, test that. Be a bad day. You know, just a little bit of that stuff and kill you. So. I died from the blunt. You know, how would you, did you ingest it or it got on you? Or? Uh, I was smoking a blunt with one of my friends. It was laced with it? Did you know it was laced with it? I hit it twice and I was dead. Why don't they do it to marijuana? Huh? Why do they do it to marijuana? It's a better high, maybe? I didn't know it was in there. Really that's what I'm saying, like the guy selling it, does he wants you to think you're getting a better high smoking his stuff, so that's why he puts it in it? Yeah, I guess so. So you can come back for more, I guess. I didn't know the difference between the high and the dead, so... Can you tell it's on there? Huh? Can you tell it's on there when that happens? No. 